um, my quote today is, for too much rest, it still becomes pain. Um, I agree with this quote, because, like, if you rest too much, like, you stay on the couch all day, you can, like, become lazy, and you, like, you can get out of shape and stuff. Um, you should, like, go out more, and, like, do something active once in a while, like, you if you rest too much, you could be bad for your body. You could be, like become very healthy and make something become like a habit for you. Um, like just like go outside and enjoy the life that you have outside the world, and don't be don't be um, don't rest too much inside the house or wherever on your couch playing video games all day. Mm, become a very bad pain for you. Thank you. All right, Andy, you start with the quote, and I think you need something a little bit more original to go with. Maybe even talk about an experience where that's how you felt after spending your spring break sitting around watching the TV, like, geez, I relaxed all week long, and I feel even more tired than when I started. Something that would uh, maybe spark your thought process on this a little bit more, because basically what you've got is you've kind of interpreted what the idea is, you tell us your interpretation, and that's about as far as it goes. It never really develops after that. It's a pretty short presentation, just about a minute. So uh, there's not a lot of opportunity to evaluate some things. Uh, your voice is low key. It's a little inconsistent in the uh, energy level and the variety. Uh, you sound like you're slowing down from the very beginning because there's uncertainty, and I think that's some of the anxiety that comes up. In a couple of spots, you're covering up your face. I'm not sure if you were yawning or getting ready to sneeze or just uh, uncertain and hiding behind your arm. So, you know, pay attention to what you're doing up, up there while you're speaking. Uh, your posture and your body looks uncomfortable the whole time you're talking there. You've got your head cocked to one side, the first part of the speech, and then later on it's kind of cocked to the other side. You're hanging it down, sort of like like you're embarrassed to be up there talking. Um, you want to speak a little bit more forcefully 
fake the confidence if it's necessary. Uh, put, perk up the energy a bit and try and get through this. Even if you don't have a lot of ideas, if you can at least say the one idea that you have in an interesting and creative way and you get done fast, that's okay if, as long as you leave a good impression with people. And I'm not sure that this is going to leave that kind of impression. Um, we never really get much of a chance to get uh, engaged with you as a speaker. And um, at the end, you, you basically repeated the point that you were trying to make, but you know, it's, it's really more a, a repeat of the, the quote than it is the idea that you have here. And I think that although it's clear that it's the exit, it's not something that's a strong exit in this situation. All right, thank you. We're going to make Ebony our last speaker for the day because we do want to do the test. So could somebody just stick their head out the door and ask her to come in, please, and we'll do that speech.